GH feels like. All right, let's go Trog. Whoa, whoa. So we got Albino, we got High Night Vision, and our poor healer turned into Fast Healer. <laughs> so we totally flipped one of the major negatives that I took. So our poor healer has flipped over to Fast Healing. Love the one when that flip happens, that's always fun. And uh, we got High Night Vision, so we added another couple of spaces to our Night Vision range. And we got Albino, which is not that big a deal. So, yeah, our Night Vision is now, what, seven spaces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven space night vision. We gain two more spaces of night vision. Makes it even easier for us to roll around in the dark. Now I step into rooms, I can just about see the entire room from uh, the doorway. I have to step a few spaces in. We didn't get herbivore. Did we push the cattle? Man, I don't want her before. <laughs> we got, uh, whoa, we lost Fleetfoot. Well, that part sucked. And we got very strong. So we traded strength for speed. I don't like that trade. I don't like that trade at all. Ponderous, bad. Instead of 10% faster, we're 10% slower. So 20% uh, switch, <laughs> basically. That's terrible. Me you no know, like ponderous. Speed eighty five. Ew, yuck. Yeah, that's a that's a huge swap. <laughs> I am very much a uh, speed and movement is life character or player. Uh, I can't stand being slow. Well, let's take a. Um, All I've got left. Really? So what? Did those things happen to fall out? Because <laughs> now it's telling me I can't take my mutagen or my two flasks of purifier here. Can't drink it while it's frozen. I guess the syringe stuff you can, but the serum... So the serums you can, but the other ones you can't. That's kind of funny. Alright, let's... I want to take one purifier, see if we can get rid of the ponderous. Probably we'll get rid of the night vision and the strong. It'll be uh, get rid of good, good, instead of uh, get rid of any of the bad. Uh, frying pan, heat me up some purifier. Yeah, we lost that. <laughs> we lost healer, we lost high night vision, and we lost the ponderous. <laughs> so I got my wish, but I paid the price. <laughs> That's funny. So out of all that, what am I? I got albino, and we got the strength. That's what we're left with. <laughs> so lost the uh, high night vision, lost the uh, fast healer, and I still don't have my quick back. So we're actually probably down. Yeah, definitely not worth it. Plus two strength to lose my speed. Bad trade. So all in all, pretty bad run for the uh, mutations. Got to throw my headset back on. So, we woke up at 6.36 p.m., huh? I don't know. This challenge didn't really go the way that I thought it was going to go. I'm not sure I'm interested in continuing this one as is. There's really nothing particularly challenging about where I'm sitting at now. It's actually pretty easy for me, uh, given what we've got gear-wise. Um, 
<laughs> go through a portal? I don't think you can. As far as I know, portals can't be gone through. Nothing particularly interesting up here. Fishing pond in the middle of town is kind of cool. Yeah, I think I'm going to bail out of this one. Reset the world and we'll see if it puts me... I'm going to try one more world set. I want to see where it puts me. This is already too easy. So this this one level freeze thing didn't really accomplish what I was hoping to accomplish. So let's... uh Suicide. Goodbye, uh, ice man. We didn't really have a nice challenge. What do we have? Just a couple of kills there. <laughs> one one zombie and a couple of scientists. Uh, world freeze escape reset. Yes. New game preset. Last character. Nice man too. So here's the problem. I can pick Deep Frozen Science Lab, but I can't pick bottom of Deep Frozen Science Lab. So. We'll pick that. Leave everything else the same. See what happens. <laughs> Put me in the finale again. What the hell, game? Level one. Ugh. Uh, arg. And it's the fusion rifle room. Fusion rifle, laser pistol, quantum solar panel, computer readout, UPS, batteries, and fusion pack. Fusion rifle, laser rifle, laser pistol, fusion pack, UPS, computer printout, quantum solar panel, and batteries. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, UPS right there. So, big whoop whoop. Whoa. Hey there, dude. Explain to me how the fuck you just shot me. <laughs> really? I want to know how I just got shot. I'm in very dark by a very large degree. <laughs> ah, I love robots and light levels. So broken sometimes. Took a 41 point shot to my torso. And I'm nowhere near the light. Nowhere near it. Not even remotely. Probably gonna get shot again and killed. Yep. I I don't know what to tell you. I just took a headshot from like 15 spaces away while I was in the dark. <laughs> Alright, no explanation. Can't tell you. Let's see if it continues to put me on one level labs and drops me in the finale room. Uh, reset world, yes. New game, preset, last character. No, put me in the finale again. Level two this time. Temperature's not going to catch up. There, it's starting to catch up. <laughs> Minus 91 on my legs. Well, at least it put me one extra level deep. Still keeps putting me in the finale room for some reason. This one's pretty bad because it put the ID card right next to the computer. That's not good. <laughs> Is the computer's gonna... Oh, we got one of these. Hey there, flying polyp. Next it'll show me a flaming eye that'll give me the mutation sickness, or the fungal sickness. Alright, well we got the ID card. Flaming eye? No. Mubic mold. Hunting horror. And the polyp. How about on the flip side? Nope, oh, no flip side this time. Alright. 
Yeah, once again, a single door out. <laughs> Talk about a screw you. <laughs> oh, well played, Cataclysm random map generator. Well played. <laughs> well, we're dead. <laughs> I got no way around this thing. Uh, that's hilarious. Hilarious. Good job, Cataclysm. Oh, actually, is there a second way around? I forgot. Oh, there is. Never mind. We're, we got a way around. <laughs> I forgot which room setup I was looking at. That was pretty funny, though. Another one over on this corner? No, none, not on this corner. That is funny, though. So, we are super freezing to death. I've got no... Let's see. I need... I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I don't have anything that's going to break a table. I need a chair. I think I'm going to build a hand-to-hand -hand the locker. That's not going to happen. We is going to freeze to death. <laughs> Prussian blue. Let's open for some pain pills. More Prussian blue. Messing with me. Close, please. Nope. No clothes. Not gonna try to get to the back room there. Still, don't have anything I can use to craft with. Come here, you guys. I need you to break something. Follow me up this way, please. Break, break that shell. Whack it! Cool. Give me that pipe. Uh, can't go. Now, can go to here. Oops. Alright, give me the crowbar. Damn it. I don't have much maneuvering room right here without getting a shot. <laughs> He's going to come through that door faster than I can get this built. Nah, I'm going to leave this stuff behind. Bedroom. Oop, not gonna be any bedroom. Hurt there. Dirt there. stairs up. Yeah, I gotta take advantage of that. Prisoner containers. 
That is a lot of body parts in jars. Oh, and the other stairs up. Well, there's the exit. All right, so worst case, this gets me back to, well, actually temperature is pretty damn cold here too, is it? Pretty damn cold, but not death cold. Oh, first aid kit in a backpack. <laughs> Oh, sometimes, game, sometimes. All right, I need some light. Um, could go upstairs, but let's hope for light in one of these rooms. And we've got an auto dock. Butcher knife? We have a butcher knife. Now, if they'd be nice enough to not put a shock zombie in the back room, that would be great. Medical gloves. Those will give no temperature protection whatsoever. No shock zombie! No shock zombie! Damn it! Shock zombie! Alright, shock zombie. Move to the back of the cell, please. That's good enough. Run mode! Give me butcher knife. Oh, this is good. And we got a pot. Come on, blanket. Somebody have a blanket. No blankets. There we go. Wear blanket. There we go. Temperature no longer a problem. If anything, we're too warm. And another pot. Very generous. All right, so we've got our stairs out. Let's see what this one looks like. Uh, that's right. I'm looking for light so I can make my crowbar. There we go. Perfect. I need parts. If I'm holding, or is that also acting as my hammering tool? Probably that's yeah, it's acting as the hammering tool. No big deal. Hey there, purse. Come to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
an old glass pipe. Nice if you could grab these lights. <laughs> So, we're kind of down to the same setup as before.
Uh, sure. So we got a duffel bag and a backpack. So carry volume is no longer an issue. We're up to almost 50 carry volume. We can grab whatever we want. I have not yet gotten. Still can't get used to this. So we got the hammer and the screwdriver. Don't have the hacksaw or the wrench yet, but hammer and screwdriver gives us the basics of most of what we need. Uh, soldering iron. I just need the heating element. That's easy enough. We've gotten batteries a few times already. So soldering iron, I can easily put together and then it's just some wire and some solder and the other minor parts and we can get the MP grenade. So essentially we're already out. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I, for some reason in my head, I thought I was going to be like floor five of a deep freeze lab and it was going to be a lot more of a challenge. As soon as I can make it to this top floor uh, and they give me any kind of raw materials like one of these, if I've got one of these rooms, I'm home free. Mostly because you got food, you got your cooking implements, you've got the curtains you can take down for the strings and the uh, uh, sheets for rags and the sticks and so on. You got the ovens for the heating elements. Uh, I don't know, it just seems really easy nowadays to get out of labs. As long as you have that one thing that I mentioned that you do. Let's take it from this instead. So, there's the heating element that I needed. Uh, while we're here, let's go ahead and grab the tubing, rubber hose. Razor set up. Oh, I don't have any fire implements yet. I don't have, I have a matchbook. There's no oh uh, never mind. <laughs> Forgot to set up the firewood source. Alright, there we go. We have fire. We haven't found much in the way of uh, decent food yet, but we also haven't really looked around all that hard. I should probably go finish searching the level before I build one of these, but they're easy enough, so what the heck. Need some solder. Usually about four throws at uh, throwing two. Throwing two. Plenty. So... Go take apart a few computers, and that gets me all the parts I need for uh, the EMP grenades for the most part. I guess we got 
group right here. Uh, oh. Solder is the only thing I don't have enough of, really. And you get that from a few different things. a few computers to take apart. <laughs> Library? Library? Library, sure. We got shocks. Try again. Oh, no, not gonna let me for a while. Oh, well. Too many blankets and other pieces of crap clothing going on here. <laughs> ah, standard zombies kicking my ass. All right, what the hell? Uh, that is a bit much torso encumbrance wise, but come on, oh, that's outrageous. Yeah, we can't afford to do too much fighting with this guy, but uh, I mostly avoid things. Hey, rollerblades! Uh, sure, I guess. Lots of uh, cleaning materials we can easily get that cleaned up. Good old little poncho. Temperature is not really the issue anymore, though. God dang it. <laughs> Another zombie. Can I get around him without get? Oh, man. What the hell? This is looking like one of those dead-end corridors anyway. Or ones to the uh, uh, railroad, possibly. Um... Yep, good old dead-end.
Ah, teleporter. <laughs> Come on, game. Give me a uh, portal generator. At the same time. That would be awesome. Naturally. Ooh, that's right. The room was full of zombies. And it goes nowhere. We are... that's it. We're done on this floor. Other than the endpoint rooms, that's all I got to work with. Hmm. Hands and legs are cold. <clears throat> Didn't realize I was down that low. Uh, right, I never did this, did I? Like warmers, please. taken care of. Legs still need about 16, 17 degrees. There we go. Now we got that no longer a problem. Temperature is fixed. I have a lot of food this time though. Hunger and thirst to be a little bit more of an issue. All right, hey, we can do four right now. Ooh. Well, let's hope we don't fail any. Could happen. No, we got them all. Um... Let's grab scrap metal. All right, scrap metal is ooh. 
Oh, let's make it one. Yeah, we must have hit level one because now everything seems to be going right to the spot. <laughs> So fun. Thirty to go. Twenty to go. Ten to go. How far do we get? Throwing one and fifty seven percent. Not bad. I imagine this looks pretty fun. <laughs> Somebody wandered into the channel. You can see this spam going on. Alright, throwing two and one percent. Perfect. Once again, we are 13 away from the turret. We will wield our EMP grenade. Activate the grenade. Throw the grenade. Close enough. Ta-da! We have escaped the lab. All right. Well, <laughs> I've done this too much. Like I said, really, the key is Electronics 4. You're doing a lab escape, and you don't have some other plan of getting out. Just put enough points to get Electronics 4, and uh, you're pretty much good to go. Everything should be fairly easy to get a hold of inside the lab. Used to be way hella harder to get out of labs than it is nowadays. So, back before they started adding all the rooms and all the items and things like that, you had, like... It was pure luck if you just happened to grab the particular couple of items you absolutely had to find in order to get out. So, uh, hey there, town of Phillips. Eh, it's a decent sized little town. Nothing else too interesting nearby. Sugar House. Sugar House is awesome to start nearby. Sugar House give uh, pancakes and waffles early game, especially. It's not rotten yet, plus all of the... Uh, the kitchen area plus the back room that's got all of the six liter tanks two liter tanks and 100 liter steel drums uh, maple syrup really good place to start to find early game but like I said we are officially out of the lab Not sure why it keeps putting me uh, starting me in the finale rooms. I don't know if it's automatic when you do the start, the uh, deep freeze start. Maybe that um, is true because every time it put me in the finale room. So a little odd, but uh, can be worked around as long as they don't put you in the finale room with it lit up. That's really the only danger. And this particular finale room was the useless uh, menagerie. Finale that just had the 
extra dimensional critters locked up so there were no uh, robots to worry about um, I still have no pain relief <laughs> All right, well, <clears throat> nah, deep freeze is just being too easy. I thought it would be a little tougher, but I also, for, I, I, when I was originally thinking of it, I thought it was going to be bottom floor deep freeze, and I get, like I said, floor five or six or something. That would be crazy hard, but I guess even then, it's not really so much hard as it is luck of uh, the map gen and just finding the stairs up really quick. As long as you can start with the survivor clothes, with the winter clothing and such, the top level's not killer, and takes you moments to get a level or two of uh, tailoring, even if you don't start with any. I think I started with a couple of levels of tailoring, um, just so I'd be able to build the duffel bag and uh, the early warmers and stuff. Uh, but even without that, it takes no time at all to get to level two of tailoring. Um, then you can, uh, have carry capacity, you can have, uh, get your warmth up so you're not going to freeze to death. And then it's just map gen. You get one of these apartment complex areas, uh, happen to get, uh, pot or a frying pan just to, uh, heat up food and water that you found with. It's super easy. So mostly I would avoid fighting. I think uh, I did a little more fighting than I probably should have. Uh, there's no real need for me to kill a couple of those zombies, but uh, yeah, too easy. So, guess I'm gonna have to cross off the uh, deep fry deep freeze challenge. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a night right there. We're coming up on uh, seven hours. I, I just don't have the energy to uh, fire up another brand new one. So, as always, appreciate everybody watching. I uh, hope you were entertained, learned a few things. Uh, otherwise, I will be back on Monday with a brand new challenge. I'm going to try to come up with a more of a theme challenge than just escape from the lab. So uh, we'll see. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. I will uh, catch you guys next time. I'll be on uh, tomorrow doing something. I'm not sure what yet. But uh, stay safe out there and I will catch you next time. Have a good night.